What's up guys? So today I wanted to do just a little short video on some of the dies and tools that I use to reload for the 6.5 Creedmoor. I do have a set of uh, real cheap Lee dies that I bought when I had bought my rifle. Kind of came with everything that you needed to get started. And about the only thing I use out of that set now is the full length size die when needed. So recently I made a purchase and I, I picked up a few things so I wanted to talk about. I did get this uh, RCBS gold metal match uh, neck sizing die that requires uh, bushings. So RCBS sells the neck bushings as does Redding. They're interchangeable. So real simple to use. You just uh, you know, you take your take your loaded round, measure the measure across the neck with the bullet in it, get a good solid dimension, subtract one thousandth of an inch, and that's the the uh, the size of bushing that you want to get. So for me, my loaded rounds are running right at .2905, so I went ahead and got a .289 uh, bushing. So that's going to give me right about one and a half thousandths neck tension with my Starline brass. So I've used these dies in the past with the uh, 338 Lapua with good results. So I thought, why not go ahead and get some for the 6.5? Um, another die, once you know, the neck size three or four times, whatever, brass starts getting a little hard to chamber. Um, I went ahead and picked up a Redding body die and we use these to just bump the shoulders back you know one to two thousandths to make the, the chambering of the brass just a bit easier. This all just saves wear and tear on the brass as opposed to using your full length size die every time. So I've had people ask me well how can you accurately bump, you say you're gonna bump your shoulder back only one thousandth of an inch how do you do that well you use the uh, handy little headspace comparator gauges those just those just slide onto your onto your calipers you know they make different ones for obviously all the different brass um, very handy to have in conjunction with those I went ahead and bought the bullet comparator kit so you can actually measure the overall length of your loaded rounds from the head of the case, from the base, all just to the ogive of the bullet as opposed to trying to measure overall length from the tip of the bullet, which isn't nearly as uh, accurate. These Forrester Ultra Micrometer Seating Dies I've become a big fan of. I've got them in numerous calibers. Um, they just, they make life easy. They are extremely repeatable. They're accurate to within uh, a half a thousandth seating depth. Uh, a little, little spendy, but it's money well spent. So, another tool I've recently picked up that is handy to have around to make, to make sure you're making good, uh, good quality ammo is a concentricity gauge. A lot of guys make them. This one's made by Sinclair. Um, maybe check the run out of your rounds. Uh, just, you know, nice to know. You can, I suppose if you wanted to really nitpick, you could, you could sort your ammo by, you know, one to two thousandths neck tension one way or the other, or excuse me, bullet run out one way or the other. Um, I figure if they're anywhere, you know, under three to four thousandths, that's that's pretty good. Um, using quality components, boy, some of these rounds are less than two thousandths run out. So, anyway, just a quick little uh, video on some of the some of the tools and dies I use to reload my 6.5 ammo. Uh, one thing else, I suppose, I could talk about. Um, I haven't used it on this particular lot of Starline brass, but. I do have a uh, Forrester neck turning tool and obviously if you're getting you know real high or low spots 
you know, three to four thousands are better across your necks. Uh, trimming is obviously a good idea that helps with consistent bullet release, neck tension, all that. Um, lots of people make them. I just happened to pick that one up a couple years ago. Um, but if you're going to turn necks and, and measure, uh, try to measure your neck thickness, I highly recommend a ball micrometer as well. Um, trying to measure stuff like case necks with calipers is just a waste of time. So, always helps to have the right tools for the job, and uh, this is some of the stuff I use. Alright, see you guys in the next one.